guys, Diver Don here. It has been way too long since I've been in the lake, been in the water, been anywhere besides a pool. So I'm pretty excited to announce that in two weeks that we're heading to Bonaire, a bunch of students uh, from the local university, myself and the uh, instructor, uh, Scuba Scott. Thanks for taking me again, Scuba Scott. I really enjoy uh, going on these trips with you guys as dive master, helping save these kids from themselves, teaching them all new skills and whatnot. Why am I wearing this mask? I'll tell you in a second. It's my new mask. You're going to love it. I love it. It's a Tusa Freedom One. Okay, guys, so here's my new Tusa Freedom One mask. It's the M211 QB BKSG, whatever. Um, it's basically a black mask with green accents. Comes in this nice choking hazard. Promptly discard that. Um, my initial impressions, I did of course open this once already. I really like this mask. Very soft silicone. Uh, these dimples, I don't know if you can see them very well. Those are to offer um, flexibility. And then you have these stability ridges, they call them. Uh, so in some areas you need a little more stability and flexibility in others. Uh, speaking of flexibility, you'll notice a little line here by the nose that is a little thinner okay for um facial hair if you have facial hair this um area here sometimes can be a, a point of um of uh, leakage so you know they've designed it in such a way that it should not leak there's a large area double low friction uh, surface and the mask strap is 3D design, which um, instead of being a flat mask strap, as you can see on my old Magnum here, or wait, my Liberator rather, um, this is a flat strap. This one is actually molded, contoured for the head. Uh, should make a more secure, more comfortable fit, and I believe it will. It's a very light mask, low profile, low, low volume and made with much better silicone um, and the thing that really sold me on this mask is this strap right here uh, as you can see here's my tightening this is what you have to do to tighten it that's it it is tight you want to loosen it you press these two buttons right here it's that <laughs> that easy isn't that slick tighten loosen this is going to help when i use it in lake superior um, sometimes I wear a thicker hood, other times I don't wear a hood at all, it depends on the, the weather and um, the time of year. It gets warmer in August, uh, certainly warmer water in August than in April. And this one you had to kind of lift this up and, and click this and pull it and then kind of, you know, feed the slack through this little black keeper. It's certainly easier than this guy, but not as easy as my new one. This one, you had to flip this little metal thing up and you know, to, to tighten it, you had to flip it back down. And half the time I had to use like a, a uh, screwdriver. So there, that's in place. To loosen it, yeah, flip that up, pull this. I love vintage gear, but let me tell you, when I see a cool little design, a little in invention is as slick as this i'm all about it i will use this quite a bit in fact i'm going to continue to play with it for a while okay time to pause you guys know how to check for fit right you just put the mask on your face you inhale through your nose see if it'll stay in place without hearing any major leaking this one fits perfect so much easier to equalize with a mask like this too i mean you've got Quite a bit of uh, nose surface. I mean, I've got a large nose, whatever. Um, but this thing, this old weapon, holy mackerel. You really had to reach in there and equalize. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like the new mask. Not that I don't like my old masks. You know, here's one of my Tusas from the before times. Works fine. I'm just going to like that new one. So guys, thanks for checking out my video. 
As you can see, I, I have a few masks. Those are uh, most of them right there in front of you. Uh, as you probably spot about a dozen Tusa masks in that collection right there. I really enjoy their masks. Just to let you know, they didn't provide me with a mask to test. They did not pay for this video in any way. This is just my own personal opinion. I do appreciate their product. And I did get that mask. I paid for it uh, myself from my buddy Scuba Scott. He sells Tusa products. I also got a Tusa Talus dive computer. I'll be doing a uh, review on that one pretty soon too. It's a pretty slick little unit. Uh, until next time, you guys dive safe. Check out the links down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and all that good stuff. 